Hello and welcome to the presentation and demo of DX Client in a Container. My name is Sharika Nandakumar and I am part of the DX Engineering team working to develop various solutions um, since uh, 2019. DX Client was launched in 95CF19 and until now was available as a node package installable. In CF196, we introduced the DX Client pre-installed in a container. It will allow you to integrate even easily with minimal footprint. So let us go ahead and see what has changed in the DX client package. My previous DX client is available as a node package comes in a zip format. Once unzipped, it contains the node executables, a readme and some sample files. The new DX client package is also a zip file. However, once you unzip it, you will be able to see a dxclient.tar.gz which is a zipped version of a docker image. It also contains a readme.txt and some bing scripts which will help with executable. There are also some sample files and inside the sample pipeline file there is a sample pipeline.groovy file which will be a good reference for you to integrate with your automation server. Now let us go into the readme and see what is what are the installation steps. The prerequisite here is that the docker must be installed on your workstation. After that you just need to navigate into your working directory and provide the docker load command docker load dxclient.r.gz This will load the latest dxclient image into your workstation. Once that is done, uh, you may also go and set your executable in your path environment variable. Here I have already done that so that enables me to execute the command directly from anywhere in my workstation. Otherwise, you just need to move into your bin directory and execute it from that point. So as you see, I have the latest DX client version installed. Now that is done, I will be able to see a new folder that has got created, which is called the store. The store stores the configuration logs, any output files, as well as the input files that you provide from anywhere. So the config.json here is what the next thing that you need to fill. I'm going to copy a uh, existing configuration that I have to speed up the process. Now that is done. I'll go ahead and execute one of the pre-configured command that I have. So here I'm going to take one of the sample portlet that I have, which is present in one of my uh, repository and I'm just going to go ahead and execute it. So internally, these files will be picked up and brought into the store folder. And you will also file the logs, find that the logs are generated here along with any output files uh, that might be the output of this command. Since the XML access execution has started here, what we can expect here to see is an output XML file. Now that is done, you will be able to see an output file generated under portlets and there you go so that brings us to the end of this demo thank you